about 40% of inmates at the Borderley Correctional Facility are on remand. It is a situation the acting director says is cause for concern. Gus Small says presently 206 inmates are on remand. One of the biggest contributors to that number is the length of time it takes for cases to be tried. Recently, the court introduced new measures to address the situation, chief among them the sufficiency hearing. Unlike preliminary investigations that took months and even years, the hearing takes place in one day and determines if there is enough evidence to go to trial. It was meant to reduce the amount of time inmates stayed on remand before their trial, but Small says the legal system is clogged with cases and something must be done to get the cases to court sooner. Before you had a period of persons being here on remand for five years, six years, and the case is just going to court, and you have a problem with finding one, the persons to give you evidence, the officers may not be around, and in some instances you have the files are missing. So therefore, you know, the issue right now is to get the cases to court much sooner. In other words, to offload that burden of, of remand that we have here. But 200 and something and getting worse is not a good sign. Some inmates on remand are there for petty crimes. Small says it may be time to consider alternatives to sentencing. Often called intermediate sanctions, they punish but do not involve incarceration. Small says it will help alleviate space and financial constraints. It must be a means um, taken by magistrates to do that. Cases that reach the judge, there's nothing like alternative sentencing because we're talking about cases that have gone through a case management and sufficiency hearing and it is, needs to go to trial. But I mean, there are smaller cases of guys stealing a bottle of something of pulling clothes from a line or threatening words and so on. Of course, um, if you have if you have alternative sentencing, then a lot of this would would cause the, the uh, uncrowding of bodily correctional facility. One of the biggest problems remand inmates pose is the security operations required to transport them to court for hearings. Small says a smaller remand population would make these necessary journeys a bit easier. You know the distance from here to, to, to taking them to the various courts. And that's our burden. And the cost involved, the officers' li uh, lives in, in, in danger. These are some things we take very seriously. So if the remand population is down, it makes it easier for all of us. The overpopulated remand block reflects the overall situation at the facility. Presently, Borderly houses 540 inmates. It was built for 450. Small says this figure is expected to rise and creates more problems for an institution trying to cope with its present population. Alison Kentish, HDS News, Channel 4.